Hey guys, what's up? The following video you're about to watch is a review that I filmed and edited on February 21st of 2021, aka this year. But the reason why I'm re-uploading it is because YouTube randomly, suddenly decided that it's illegal to post this video up. So they decided to uh, block my video from the rest of the world because of a trailer that I showed in the clip. I tried to dispute with the copyright block and they reviewed the dispute and said that the block still stands. So I have to re-upload it now. Enjoy. Hey, Gong Hei Fa Choi, what's up? It's the culture detective here. Oh my God, all this stuff. Uh, investigating your favorite movies and today I'm going to do a movie review on Minari, uh, written and directed by Lee Isaac Chung, released in 2020, and now I'm reviewing it, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be nominated for Best Picture in the Oscars, so yeah, I'm going to have to watch The Father and Promising Young Woman and, and Judas and the Black Messiah as well as soon as possible uh, before the Oscars happen so that I can, you know, I can evaluate which movie is my favorite one uh, but anyways let's talk about minari the plot is essentially a korean family moved to arkansas in the 1980s and the main character who is played by stephen yun his name is jacob he wants to build a farm and sort of profit from it and make a business out of it and yeah, there's a lot of struggles for the family. They were running out of water. They weren't rich. They were dealing with financial struggles as well, working at jobs that they don't particularly, particularly like doing. There's also the cultural clash. First of all, I think this is a pretty good movie. I think it's actually really good. I think the characters are mostly really likable and uh, especially the grandma who isn't in the movie at the very beginning but uh, she, sort, she sort of shows up a little bit later but uh, she's actually a really kind and caring person. Uh, at one point the younger sibling of the two hated the grandma but the grandma still really loved him and cared for him. I also think that the conflicts are really realistic in the movie and given that we, you know, like and support these characters, we really hope for the best for them. But it's kind of difficult in their situation. I think the acting is really good as well, especially the um the grandma. I think Stephen Young did a pretty good job. The child actors are not bad, and I think the music is pretty good as well. There is not much to say about this movie other than it's a really solid movie. It is well directed as well, even though it's not like the most uh, beautifully directed thing ever. Um, it's still pretty good. It's also really slow paced, so um, again, if you if you don't like slow paced movies, slow play, slow paced dramas, this may not be your cup of tea, but um, it's not the slowest movie of all times, you know, there are plenty of movies that are, you know, 12,000 times slower than Minari, but um, just letting you know. I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not flawless, there are a couple of moments in the movie that's just a little, little hard to believe in, but I guess those are minor flaws that I can overlook at any time. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm really tired. I, I didn't sleep much today. Just like the last five days. I slept for four hours again. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, today is the first day of my spring semester in college. Um, so uh, yeah, Minari pretty good movie feeling an 8 out of 10 yay uh so have you seen minari from 1 to 10 how much did you rate a like or like and subscribe if you want more and thanks for watching